First at 10 tonight, it's been five years since Terrence Crutcher was killed by a former Tulsa police officer. A jury later found that officer not guilty. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Lori Fulbright. And I'm Craig Day. News on 6's Ashlyn Brothers is live after attending the Crutcher family's candlelight vigil tonight. Ashlyn? Well, Lori and Craig, friends and family held that candlelight vigil to mark the moment that former Tulsa police officer Betty Shelby shot and killed Terrence Crutcher. Now they all gathered here at the 36th Street North Event Center. That's just down the road from where Crutcher was shot at the age of 40. About 100 people lit candles and stood in silence for five whole minutes before pastors prayed. Reverend Joey Crutcher says his son Terrence was an easygoing, compassionate man who adored his kids and loved singing in church. He tells me the Crutcher family loves Tulsa and its police department, but believes change is necessary. The Terrence Crutcher Foundation pushed for people to sign a policy reform petition calling for police reform and that the city needs to invest in mental health resources within the public safety system. Police say Shelby shot and killed Crutcher after he tried to reach back into his SUV after several callers reported he was confronting people in the street while on drugs. Shelby was charged with first degree manslaughter and a jury found her not guilty in 2017. The Crutcher family's wrongful death lawsuit against Shelby and the city is still pending. This day is it just kind of brings back bad memories and we think about September the 16th as the Crutcher family's 9-11. And Tulsa police say that they cannot comment at this time because of that pending lawsuit. Live in Tulsa, Ashland Brothers, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.